everyone, it's Monday, August 14th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Um, let me know what you guys think of the 1.5x speed in the previous video. I realize just some of those talks in the middle or end of the video get really long, and I don't talk very fast. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me know if that was like a good thing or if it was just annoying or something like that. But it's been a great day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, gonna hit an online class session, update you guys with what's going on there. Gonna hit a quick guitar practice, I'll keep you guys updated. And then going to get back into this guitar solo, just start polishing that and moving forward with uh, the rest of the track. So, let's get right into it. session. Oops. Uh, a little on the shorter side, but I think that was okay to, for, for today, honestly. I I was feeling pretty fatigued when I got up this morning, but um, hit the online class front and finished up the third module of the online musician class. Moving on to the fourth module, I was just checking out the fourth module checklist. I like to get like a high-level view of all the stuff that I'm going to be learning and doing and uh, it's so funny because there's a lot of work assigned in the class and that gets me really excited. It gets me really pumped up. So I really like that challenge and it's something I'm learning about myself, which is cool. Um, I'm really pumped up because this module is all going to be all about social media marketing, which is something I'm super, super interested in. And I think cuts be goes beyond just the spectrum of music. And this is a person, the instructor, who knows a great deal about this and has had a lot of success with it and has invested a lot in her own knowledge. So I'm really excited to learn this just for myself, just for my own personal understanding. I, I get, I'm really interested in that. And I'm also really excited to apply it in the uh, musical world and just, uh, just see how far I can take that. So um, I'll update you guys with, uh, with the tips, etc. from that. Um, then I moved into a quick guitar practice, just still working on kind of this blues rock style riffage in drop D, which I'm having a lot of fun with, and starting to absorb a little bit of uh, my musicism online class instructor, Rabia Massad style. I really, really like his stuff. He plays in a, a great band called Dorje, D-O-R-J-E, that I'd definitely recommend checking out if you're into progressive rock. They kind of have like a progressive and classic rock kind of meld going, which is which I really dig. Um, and his guitar playing is really, really cool. I, I like his style a lot, so therefore, I'm taking his class. Um, <laughs> and that's going extremely well. I would definitely recommend that class um, so far. And um, then I took a short break, did some reading out of the recording secrets for the small studio book. Uh, the author is just going through a case study about recording like a solo vocalist and piano, like accompanying herself on a piano. And he does these case studies after he's introduced you to a lot of techniques that are really interesting to see how he would make decisions in the real world and how he uses the acoustic environment and how he uses different types of microphones, etc. So um, that's really fun. And then I just started working on this solo, um, this guitar solo again, and just taking some of the pieces that I had sketched out and put together on Saturday and uh, starting to connect the dots a little bit, get them to gel in my mind, just get the overall picture of the solo to uh, come together, and I made some good progress on that, even though I probably only worked on it for about 20 minutes or something like that. But a, w a focused 20 minutes, you know, over the course of a few days, that can take you pretty far. It's, it's easy to think that, that even 10 minutes or something like that isn't enough, but if you can get in the zone and get a couple things done and then you can stay consistent, that's the key, is just consistency over time. If you can stay consistent with it, um, you can make some pretty, you know, surprising gains, I think. So 
excited to be moving forward. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts, questions, um, anything at all, comments, um, advice about what I'm doing. I'm open to everything at this point. And um, I hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process, having fun with it, reaching to be the best version of yourself, uh, the highest version of yourself as, as often as possible. And uh, that's what I'm out here doing, just sharing my process. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Till then.